feel weak and weary, but God will give us strength. So let's read verse 6 until 15. Let's read this responsibly. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I who wholly follow the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept and five years uh, kept kept me alive as he said this forty and five years even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness and now lo I am this day fourscore and five years old Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. He born therefore became the uh, Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel altogether and the name of the Hebron before was Kirjat Arba which Arba was a great man among the Anakims and the land had rest from war let's come to the Lord in prayer our Father in heaven, Lord, uh, uh, thank you for this time. I pray, Lord, that you will guide us, help us, Lord, to understand your word. Help us, Lord, to, to remember, remember all the principles and we learn all the, all the principles that you want us to know or want us to be reminded. Because uh, I know, Lord, you are the one who will sustain us and give us strength as we serve you. We pray, Lord, that you always guide each every one of us we're asking for your uh, forgiveness and lord i pray that you use me as your servant and give uh, also understanding for your people thank you so much lord we praise you and glorify your name all these things i ask and pray in jesus name amen, amen. okay so you all may be seated so the title of our uh, message today the secret of caleb's strength or the secret of staying strong how can we stay strong here in this chapter if uh, you will uh, move backward when you read it is the time when the israelites conquered most of the uh, the countries that they need to conquer especially uh, uh, the canaan or the part of canaan and uh, at this time they are starting to divide the the portion for for every tribes of Israel and we know how they divided the Levites they don't have any portion because their portion is for the Lord and uh, they divided into ten and and uh, we can see here how, how uh, Caleb uh, approached Joshua about the the promise of the Lord you know nowadays people wants to stay strong they want to stay healthy that's why there are many uh, beauty companies and uh, food supplement that are 
uh, really famous because they people really want to stay young people want to stay strong I remember when I was uh, at, at my 20s I'm I really feel great I don't feel anything that's why when I saw old people how come they act like that they always have pain on their back so and then I think maybe I will not feel that but now I am starting to feel it <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 32 years old, but I don't know. I don't know. 43 years old, but uh, I really feel the pain. I, I'm really having a hard time when I sit down, feel dizzy every time. I don't know why. And then I, it's having a hard time to tie my shoes. That's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cannot reach because there's a. A uh, big muscle blocking my way when you go down. That's me. So we want to stay strong. We want to stay healthy. We want to stay physically fit. That's why we do everything in order for us to 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 become healthy. We buy. We spend money. We really. I really admire Pastor when it comes to exercise. I hope we can adapt that with Brother Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> At least Brother Wilson plan to do exercise, but. And just a plan. <laughs> so uh, we need to to stay strong. We need to stay healthy because our job is really really hard. That's why we feel sick. But if we uh, stay strong, we can do more for the Lord. And then now here, let's look at the secret of Joshua. Ah, uh, Joshua, Caleb. Why he stays strong? in his uh, in his age although it doesn't mean that he w when he did all of these things he stay physically strong but for sure he, he, he was a uh, spiritually strong and then her his physical uh, his phys physical uh, strength just followed with that now here in verse number six how uh, Caleb stay strong in verse 6, it says here, verse 6, Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses and the man of God concerning me, and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Now this time, at this moment, all uh, the leader of the tribes of Israel came to Joshua in order to 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 claim their uh, portion and uh, Caleb talked to Joshua and he reminded Joshua about God's promise to him he said uh, thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses the man of God because Joshua was there also when God promised uh, Caleb about this land and uh, concerning uh, him and concerning Joshua about in Kadesh Barnea. So it says in number one, he's holding on God's promise. This is his secret why he say so he's holding on God's promises. We know that there are promises that God gave us in order for us to continue, in order for us to hold upon it. And but sometimes we tend to forget, we tend to uh, don't mind those promises because we we think that we it's not uh it's not gonna happen to us but Caleb he 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 hold to the promise of God that's what he said to Joshua remember what the Lord said to me and to you with his servant Moses that he will do this for me and for you because he he has a faith to God that he God will will do what he promised to him it's really hard to hold on the promises of people because most of the time they will fail you it's really difficult to do that but when it comes to God it's a different story when God promise he will always do his promise that's why the the song of the children every promise in the book is mine it's not scriptural <laughs> because all the promise is not for us it's <laughs> there are promise for Israel only I don't know why who who composed that song but it's not a biblical promise but there are some promises there are promises he
here in the Bible that, that we can hold on. Like, God will never leave you, nor for, God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But there are times we think that we are alone, we think that we cannot do anything, and sometimes we ask God, God Lord, where are you when I'm down, when I have lots of problems? We forget to to we forget that God promised that He will never leave us nor forsake us. But Caleb is different person. He is still holding on God's promise. Caleb knows that God will fulfill His promises. He knows that since the beginning when they uh, uh, go out from uh, the bondage in Egypt, he knows that. He will never forget how God delivered them from their enemies. Caleb saw it from Egypt in the wilderness until they reached the promised land. His faith remains the same. Imagine, we know that Caleb is one of the 12 spies that sent by, by Moses to spy a Canaan. And when I think about that, because they traveled, and then only Joshua and Caleb gave a good report, but if you will imagine when they coming back going to to their to their camp or to to moses imagine what they are talking that the ten the ten uh the ten spies are talking about oh are talking about negative things but caleb and joshua they were not affected by those by those uh, uh conversation of their fellow spies because they really know that God will fulfill His promise. Because that's why in this verse also we can see here later that Caleb, he is the only one and uh, Joshua are the one who, who encouraged the people about going to the promised land. But those ten, they, are, they gave a bad report about, about the Canaan. And then, Remember in 2 Peter 3.9, it says here, verse, uh, 2 Peter 3.9a, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count His slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So the first part is, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise. When God said, when God promised, He will do. But sometimes we are... Uh, what do you call that? We are tired of waiting. We think uh, sometimes we are praying for, for a partner. And then we said, we pray, Lord, I'm already at my 30s. But it's still okay. And then when you're 40s, Lord, anybody. <laughs> we need to hold on God's promise. Maybe uh, you will become a blessed single. So we need to pray for that. We, don't need, we need to hold on the promises of God. Now, how about us? Are we really holding on God's promises? Or like the most of Israelites, they can't, really, they can't rely on God's promises. Although they saw it, they experienced it firsthand, but they still not, they really don't uh, trust fully on the Lord. So imagine, and I'm also thinking, if I'm one of them, maybe during the time, baka kinain na rin ako ng lupa yung nagbukas. Sa buti na lang hindi ako kasama doon. Uh, kasi we, we, it's really, it's really hard to imagine how these people uh, act like that when God said, but they really don't believe. Only few people, that why, that's why, uh, God said, all those people uh, that came from uh, Egypt, 20 years old and uh, above will die. Only Joshua and uh, ito? Si Caleb. Sila lang yung nakapasok. Even Moses, hindi siya nakapasok sa promised land. So, that's how Caleb depend on God. He, 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 oh, that number one, He's, he holds on God's promises. And then number two, his secret in verse 7, he says here, 40 years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me. So he was 40 years old when Moses sent him to spy. 
the servant of the Lord sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him word again, and it was in mine heart. So what is in his heart? So we can see here number two, he has the right heart. He has the right heart in his in his job on what he do on what he saw in that land what was the heart what was in the heart of caleb he don't mind the problems and hindrances to follow the lord in psalm 37 verse 4 psalm 37 verse 4 it says here delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart if we want god to give the desire of our hearts we need to delight ourselves to god maybe we are thinking why lord i'm longing for this why you didn't give me because maybe we are not delighting ourselves to god if we delight ourselves to the lord he will give the desire of our heart here caleb he delighted his heart to the lord in numbers 14 24 numbers 14 24 says here but my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, and hath followed me fully, him will I bring into the land whereinto he went, and his seed shall possess it. He had another spirit compared to the other spies that searched the land. He has a different uh, point of view. He has, he has a different perspective in life. Because he trusted the Lord. He trusted that God will give them this promised land. But those uh, ten spies, they don't, uh, they don't have, uh, they, their faith was gone. And then they, they just complain on what they saw on that, uh, on that place. He had the right attitude when facing trials of life. Do we have this right attitude like, uh, like Caleb? So he has the right, ha right heart when he faced these uh, difficulties in life. We know and all of us are facing difficulties of our life. Sometimes we need to, to decide, make a decision. It's uh, just like a uh, life or that uh, it's a matter of life and the decision or make it or break it. But we, do we have the right attitude in facing these trials in life? Like, like Caleb, he has the right attitude. He trusted the Lord. Remember in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6? Uh, in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, it says there, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. We need to trust in the Lord with all our heart. That's what Caleb did. That's why he, still, he remained strong, not just physically strong, but spiritually strong with the Lord. He purposed in his heart that God will give them the land. So it was his, his, in his heart first that that's what, that he said that God will give this land to us. And I know and I believe because uh, his attitude, he has the right heart with what he is doing for the lord so that is the second secret and then number three in verse eight and verse nine it says here nevertheless my brethren that went up with me uh, may uh, made the heart of the people melt those ten spies but i wholly follow the lord my god and moses swear on that day saying surely the land where on thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever because thou hast wholly followed the lord my god so number three his secret is he followed the lord wholeheartedly he followed the lord wholeheartedly so this is one uh, one of his character that really give him spiritual strength and also physical strength he walked in faith he, uh, he walked with faith in Numbers 13, 30. Numbers 13, 30. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. 
So it was Caleb who said that, that uh, he told the people, let's go, and he was so excited to conquer the land. He, he said that we can go there. He never mind what people might say. The ten spies that went with him put, put fear in the heart of the people, but Caleb stand up for God. He stand up for the Lord. And in verse 31 and 32, Numbers 13, but the man that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought an, up an evil report of the land which they had searched of the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. So these people are trying to, to, to put fear in the heart of uh, is ten spies putting fear in the heart of the people but Caleb and Joshua stand up for God but that uh, they were really uh, outnumbered during their time but uh, that's what, we, what what happened to Caleb but Caleb really followed the Lord wholeheartedly now can we follow the Lord wholeheartedly it's easy to say but to prove it is another thing we can say lord i want to follow you how many times we 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 ask the lord lord i want to surrender my life and then after that we forget but uh joshua uh, caleb he really followed the lord wholeheartedly since the beginning when they go out from from the from egypt until this time when he was 85 years old imagine the time and when he so People are dying, to get, his brethren are dying because of their unbelief, because of their hard-headedness. But he keeps on following the Lord wholeheartedly. Are we wholeheartedly follow the Lord or maybe half-hearted? It's really, it's really difficult to, to go to, to serve God half-hearted because God doesn't want a portion of our heart god said we need to give our best we need to give our whole body remember in romans chapter 12 we need to give our body as a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto god which is our reasonable service now are we wholeheartedly follow the lord it's a question for us with our with the kind of our service with the kind of our uh, what we are doing for god is it our uh, wholehearted, uh, wholehearted service for the Lord? But Caleb followed the Lord wholeheartedly. It means that if Caleb can do it, we can also do it. Because he trusted the Lord. And then that's his third secret in verse 8 and 9. And then his fourth secret, how he stay strong is in verse number 11, uh, 10, 10 and 11 it says here and now behold the Lord had kept me alive as he said this 40 and 5 years even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness and now lo I am this day fourscore and 5 years old we can see here how Caleb really gave the glory to God he said I'm for I'm uh, said, and now behold the Lord had kept me alive as they said this 40 and 5 years old. He was 85 years old at this time. But he really gave it back to God because God keep, uh, kept him alive. Only God can keep us alive. If God will not give us this strength, we, we, are, uh, we cannot do anything. Whatever we do, we try to drink medicine, we try to drink food supplement, anything that we make us strong. If God will not keep us alive, are we gonna do about it but Caleb said it was the Lord it was God who keep me this way so he really gave back the glory to God he doesn't say because I'm uh, doing exercise I go to gym every day and because of my uh, because I study about that I study how to become healthy because of you know it's not because of us it's because of the Lord he said because of God kept me alive and verse 11 as yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so in my strength now. 
for war both to go out and to come in you can see here that Caleb said how do I feel before I still feel right now because he during their time they really experienced battle after battle and they keep on winning but then uh, uh, that's how uh, how he feel he said I'm 85 years old I'm imagining 85 years old Sino ba 85 dito? Ah, may, wala pa naman. No? Sa atin, pag may 85 years old, parang uh, hindi na makalakad. Hindi na maka... Baka sinasabi natin, ah, iba kasi yung buwan nila, iba kasi yung pecha nila. Kaya, baka yung years nila may iksi, kaya umabot sila. Hindi ba parehas lang yun, yung dami ng taon. Kaya, si, si Caleb, he was 85 years old, but he said, it was God who keep me this way. It was God who uh, help me to be strong and uh, he, the, his secret is in verse 10 and 11 said he patiently waited for the Lord he patiently waited for the Lord it was 45 years ago and keep on waiting for the Lord he never uh, yung di siya na inip hindi po siya nawala ng pag-asa he never lose hope in waiting for God's promise to them that's why uh he stay strong because uh, he he trusted the Lord day day by day every day because the Bible is clear here he really followed the Lord wholeheartedly. Hindi po siya yung nag nag backslide. Hindi po siya nag rebelde. Hindi po siya nag nag doubt sa panginoon. Tuli tuli po siya kahit sa kanyang kapaligiran ay talagang puro negative ang kanyang naririnig, negative ang kanyang nakikita. Ganun po sa atin, minsan sa ating, uh, when we are serving the Lord, we hear stories, we hear problems that will uh, discourage us, that will uh, make us uh, quit in serving the Lord. But Caleb, even though he saw, he heard all these uh, negative things about the Lord, he keep on, he keep on keeping in serving the Lord. He patiently waited for the Lord. Do we pray for something and wait for the answer for many years? Maybe we have a prayer that we give up, thinking that it will not happen anymore. But Caleb was a different man. He waited for the Lord patiently. He waited for, for 45 years for God's answer and he waited faithfully. He is not just waiting, doing nothing, but he really do something for the Lord while he is waiting for God's promise. He never give up on the Lord. Pero po tayo, ilang panahon lang, give up na tayo agad. Minsan po, may, ang, ang hinihingi natin ay, ang hinihingi natin ay ayon sa kalaoban ng Panginoon. Hindi po dapat tayo tumigil sa paghihintay sa Panginoon. Dahil, ayan sabi sa Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31. Uh, Mr. Bilga, yeah. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. This is what happened to Caleb. He wait for the Lord. That's why his strength is renewing every day. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. So his faith doesn't change then and now. So, ayan ang sinabi sa verse 11, As yet I am as strong this day, and I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then even, so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Actually, he's not all, all only pertaining to his physical strength, but his faith is telling that, I believe before that God will give this land, that God will deliver us until now. I still believe in God. I still believe that God will do what He promised to us as a children of Israel. So that is the secret, number four. Number five is last secret in verse 12. Now therefore, give me this mountain whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in the, that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced, if so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. So he was 
courageous. That's what that's his secret. He was courageous. He chose the difficult situation. It's a mountain. The Anakim was there, and we know that the Anakim, those are the giants. The, remember, there's about the son of Anak, yung Anak ng son, son of Anak. They are giants, but he doesn't mind it because he is holding on what the Lord says to them. So that's what Caleb did, as he 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 do. His uh, ministry, he served God. He's still courageous at this um, moment in his life. He doesn't mind his condition. If he is old, God gave him strength physically. So he didn't even mind that I'm old. He said, I'm still strong. I can still fight. I can uh, really destroy them because he's not relying on his strength because God is with me. He always pertains to God. He doesn't say because I'm this, I'm that. I know any, I know I, I have lots of experience. But he always say because of the Lord, because God is with me, because God kept me alive. That's why I'm here. He always give God the glory because it's that's the the real thing that we need to do. We give all the glory to God because it's all for God's glory. He encouraged Joshua in spite of their age. Both of them were old. That's in Joshua chapter 13, verse 1. Now, this is how God wants us to be in our spiritual life as we advance in years, as we grow old, growing older but never weaker in Jesus Christ. So we really grow old. That's why the, our tendency is to, as a Christian, we, we are deteriorating spiritually. We will not... Uh, if we will uh, neglect all the things that we need to do in uh, serving the Lord, like prayer, reading the Word of God, sharing the gospel, uh, uh, attending uh, the fellowship, if we will not do that, we will really deteriorate. Uh, and remember the law, the second law of thermodynamics, you know? It keeps on deteriorating everything. Even in our spiritual life, it's uh, really, we will be deteriorate if we will not do something we need to uh, exert effort in order to stay strong for the lord it doesn't mean that when you, we are saved and we believe in the lord jesus christ and repent of our sin and we will grow stronger and stronger no we will we will not grow stronger and stronger unless we will trust the lord like caleb he trusted the lord he wait for the lord he served the lord wholeheartedly that's why he's still until his age, until he was old, he's still strong. So this is a uh, uh, reminder for us, especially those who are uh, like most of our here are, all of us here are getting older and older as the day goes by. But we need to, 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 to remember that we need to hold on the Lord, to the Lord. We need to trust the Lord. We need to, to wait for the Lord patiently and also and you obey what God wants us to do with regards to serving the Lord. Do we want to remain strong like Caleb? Let us ask the Lord to help us and follow the secret of Caleb's strength. We want to stay strong like Caleb wala tayong mababasa rito na si Caleb ay pinanghinaan ng loob. Sinabi talagang sinunod niya ang Panginoon sa buong buhay niya at walang doubt na nanakita sa kanya. Kaya nga, pinili niya yung mahirap dahil alam niya, hindi, although sa tingin ng tao, in man's point of view, it was difficult but he he's not looking with that point of view. He's looking for the point of view of God. God can do anything because it was his promise you know what if all of israel had the heart of caleb what do you think will happen for sure they can conquer they can go to the promised land so easily but it it doesn't happen they wandered for 40 years what if no one in israel had the heart of caleb imagine kung lahat puro pare-pareha silang mga matigas ulo baka patay silang lahat Again, Caleb's secret is clear. He wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. 
there was a total commitment in Caleb's life. So that's what God wants us to, to do in serving the Lord. We need to follow the Lord wholeheartedly. No, walang, no reservation. No, we can say, uh, Lord, I, like, sabi nga ni Brother John kanina, kung nakakapag-manood siya ng one uh, basketball a day, dapat may panonood rin tayo. Ako lagi rin po nanonood ng basketball, yung replay lang. Every day, replay. And, uh, mabilis matapos. Pero, let's see to it that we have also time for the Lord. We need to prior, our, we know our priority. We need, we need to know what, what are we going to do as a servant of God. Like Caleb, his secret is he only follow the Lord wholeheartedly. Let's uh, all stand up and let's pray.